Fourth grade into math, lesson 17.5. Measure and draw angles of two-dimensional figures. I can use the projector to accurately and precisely measure and draw angles of two-dimensional figures. Step it out, number one. Sean looks at the instructions for building a castle model. There is a small tower at the corner of the model called a turret. Sean needs to measure the angles of an opening in the turret. How can he find the measure of the angles? So they want us to measure um, angle A, B, C. Okay. So place the center point of the protractor on the vertex of angle A, B, C. So I'm going to take my protractor and line it up just like they showed me. Okay. Okay. And so our protractor, the center point is on the very bottom, right, guys? So then you're going to align the um, bottom with B, C, right, guys? Okay. And then find where BA comes across. Where does BA come across? What degree? 90 degrees. Okay. And then to denote that on our angle, they put a little what? A little box, right? So say that that was 90 degrees. Okay. Now they want you to um, turn your protractor and measure the angle of B, A, C, so they want you to measure the angle of this, and then they want you to do A, C, B. And so you're going to turn your page and do that. Okay, so we turned our page and we got the different angles. What was angle B, A, C? 45 degrees. So I would mark it with the curved line and then put 45 degrees. What was the angle of C? 45 degrees. And what did we said? When you add up all the measures of a triangle, you get how many degrees? 180. So 45 plus 45 is 90, plus another 90 is 180 degrees. Step it out, number two. Shonda's architectural plans for the Science Museum's main entrance will include a trapezoid-shaped window with two 75-degree angles. How can Shonda draw angles of a given measure to form a trapezoid. Okay, so she placed the center point of the protractor at O, and then she aligned it and drew a straight line, correct? Okay, and that straight line was O in, all right? Now she needs to take her protractor and she needs to go across, so she's gonna line this up again. So you need to line your protractor up, okay? And then she's going to go across what? 75 degrees, which 75 degrees is right here. So really what you need to do is you need to make a little tack mark at 75, whoops, at 75 degrees, which is about right here. Then turn your protractor on its side and then draw it from here to here. And then that is letter what? What letter is that? Letter L. Okay. And then now you have OL, which they did go ahead and draw that over here for you guys. Okay. Then they want you to label what? Point M, right? So place the center point, and they want it what? For 75 degrees. So then I place my protractor over here, and then I have to mark it at 75 degrees, which would be about right here. Then take my protractor and draw a straight line from here to here, and then I said this was M, and then I connect my point. Okay, so we took our protractor, and we used our straight edge, and we drew a line from here to here, okay? Then we used our protractor, and we had about 130 over here, so we took our straight line and connected that. Then we came over here, and used our protractor and found a 50 degree angle and put a little dot. Then used our protractor and used the straight edge 
to come across. And then we also drew our other slanted line. This was 130 degrees, and this was 50 degrees. On your own, number two, you have to rule. So the entrance of the Science Museum will have a window in the shape of a parallelogram. The window must have an angle that measures 40 degrees. Use a protractor to find the measure of the angles and determine which window the Science Museum would use. Okay, so I'm going to set my protractor on here at point C. Okay, because that's what they want is point C, right? So I'm going to put my zero degrees at point C. And then what am I going to run point C along? My straight edge along B, right? Okay, where did D come out to? Forty-seven degrees. Um, let's let's go with either a zero or a five back there. So if you can see forty-seven, what's closest to forty-seven? Forty-five, right? Okay. Okay. Now they want E F G. So where do I put my point at? My zero point at F, right? So my zero point of my protractor is going to go here. The bottom edge of my protractor is going to go along D. And where does E come out at? 43. Okay, remember, guys, I told you I want um, either a five or a zero in the one spot. So what do you guys think? This is actually a little bit less than that. And it's what? 40 degrees. Okay, so if they want to use more of an angle of 40 degrees, which one should they use? Window 2 or window 1? The window 2. Okay, number 3, model with mathematics. Mateus draws building plans for a greenhouse. Use a protractor to find the angle measures of the trapezoid. Write an equation to find the sum of the angles of the measures. Okay. So, measure of angle E. Okay, so after using our protractor, we found measure of angle E to be 70 degrees, F to be 90 degrees, G to be 90 degrees, H to be 145 degrees, and then we did 70 plus 90 plus 90 plus 145, and we got that to equal... 395 degrees. 